Hello again. Let's uh, continue the uh, book report, Journey to Heaven by uh, St. Uh, Tikhon of Zadonsk. We're on chapter 4 now. Uh, chapter 4 is reverence toward God. On the worship of God. God is spirit, non-material, and is therefore worshipped in nothing else but in spirit and in truth. John 4.24 on the mention of the name of God, mention God's name with reverence, fear, and devotion. It is right to mention God's name in prayer, glorification, thanksgiving, praise, spiritual songs, and conversations befitting Christians. Do not mention God's name in other conversations without extra need, caution, and reverence. For our God is a consuming fire, Hebrews 12:29. These are uh, St. Tikhon's words, of course, not mine. I'm just summarizing his chapter. <clears throat> There's more in the chapter. I'm just shortening. Okay, on prior, uh, profanity, excuse me, on profanity. Profanity has become commonplace, a thing that is extremely unbefitting Christians. As to say, quote-unquote, by God, or quote-unquote, God be upon it, or quote-unquote, as God is my witness, or quote-unquote, for Christ's sake, and many other things. You should guard yourself from swearing in these and other ways. Speak truth, quote, yea, yea, nay, nay, for whatsoever is more than these cometh from the evil one, end quote, Matthew five thirty seven. On faith and the fear of God. Quote, the fear of God arises most often from contemplation of the omnipresence of God and his omniscience, uh, omniscience, end quote. Quote, keep God then before your spiritual eyes and you will have the fear of God, end quote. Quote, I beheld the Lord ever before me, end quote, Psalm 15, 8. How to Stand in Church Attend diligently to reading and singing in church with true compunction, heartfelt singing, thanksgiving, and true prayer. Otherwise, you may have God's words applied to you. Quote, This people draweth nigh to me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Matthew 15, 8 Quote, while standing before God in church, the icons and saints, remember that one is the creator that created them and you, and that his purpose is the same for them as for you. That is, to save them and you. They are glorified, and before you lies the same glory, only Imitate their lives, and you shall be saved. End quote. Pray as necessary. Quote, Prayer consists not only in standing and bowing before God and body and reading written prayers, but even without that, it's possible to pray in mind and spirit at all times and in every place. End quote. We can pray at any time. Quote, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy. Lord, help. End quote, and other similar prayers as these. And that is my very brief summary of chapter 4 of Journey to Heaven, Councils on the Particular Duties of Every Christian by St. Tikhon Zelensk, Bishop of Voronezh and Aletz. And to remind you of when this was written, this is back in around the 1750s. Or 17, he was born in 1724, uh, near the end of the reign of Peter the Great near Novgorod. So, technically, it's uh, it should be uh, beyond copyright, but of course, the translation of the book was printed in 2004, I think, was the last printing of it. So, all right, God bless, pray for me, a sinner, over and out.